Okay, uh, good morning everyone. And in this video, I'll be explaining the calculation, uh, calculation aspects of the uh, uh, three, one, two. For example, you have uh, this is table of value. We have our N here. We have our S bar. We have our S D. Let's say here is the male, and this other part is for the female. Okay. Mm, we have uh, the DF, which is degree of freedom. We have the T calculated. Then we have uh, the P value. Then lastly, you have the remark. So for the number, we have 10 here. We have um, 12.50, we have 11.13, 6.4, 7.64, you have um, 16 here, you have 0 0.42 here, you have 2.12 here, then let me leave it this way. Now, the question might come in this format, calculate the number of female. So, if you are asked to calculate the number of female, there is no way you can calculate the number of female without you getting the degree of freedom. So, the degree of freedom is given to us as 16. And the number for getting the degree of freedom, degree of freedom is equal to number of male plus number of female. Then, how many variables we have here too, which is male and female minus 2. As it means 3, we are going to have minus 3 if it is 4, minus 4. So, what is the number of female? Sorry, what is the degree of freedom? It's given to us as 16. So, you have 16 is equal to number of male is 10. Number of female is unknown, then minus 2. So, if you collect light time, you are going to have 16 minus 10 minus 2 moves is going to give us a plus 2 which is equal to what? N2. Then I will say my N2 here will give us 10. 10 plus 2 is equal to 8. So my N2 is equal to 8. Then this place here will be 8. That is if you are expected to calculate for the number of a, of female. Maybe number of female was not given to you. That's how you calculate it. So now let's assume they give us number of male, number of female, but the degree of freedom wasn't given to us. So this is what you do. You write degree of freedom is equal to N1 plus N2. How many variables do you have here? 2, which is minus 2. The number of male is equal to 10. Number of female is equal to 8. So 10 plus 8, then minus 2. 10 plus 8 will give us 18. 18 minus 2 is going to give us what? 16. So 16 happens to be our degree of freedom. Okay. Uh, stay on this. At the bottom of uh, the whole work, or at the top, they might say, Alpha level, alpha level of significant is equals to significant, please, significant equals to 0 0.05. Then there are some things you need to take note of. What is the relationship between the alpha level and the p-value? So alpha level is 0 0.05 and the p-value is 2.112. So is the alpha level greater than the p-value or the alpha level of significant? is less than the p-value. If the alpha level of significant is greater than the p-value, I repeat, if alpha level of significant is greater than the p-value, uh, then you can say, you can put significant here. That means we have to reject the hypothesis, the non-hypothesis. But if the alpha, value, uh, alpha level of significant is less than the p-value, then it is not significant. It is not significant then what you have to do you accept instead of rejecting you accept i repeat if the alpha level is greater than the p value alpha level of significant is greater than you 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 reject that is significant but if the alpha level is less than then you accept which is what not significant but there are some times whereby p value will not be given or P value might be given, then there's another one we call T calculated. Sometimes they will not even give you P value, they will not give you alpha level of significant. So they will give you T calculated and T critical. So we have T calculated and we have T 
think critical. So how do you know if we are to reject or we are to accept? Or how do you know if uh, the, the hypothesis is significant or the hypothesis is not significant? So this is what you do. If the T calculated is greater than T critical, I repeat, if the T calculated, the T calculated is greater than the T critical. The T critical is, is kind of associated with a, the P value. So if the T calculated is greater than the, the T critical, we are to reject the hypothesis. That's to say it is significant. But if it is otherwise, let's say T calculated is less than T critical, you are to accept, which is not significant. I repeat, T calculated greater than T critical. You reject T calculated less than T critical. You accept. When you reject, it is significant. The way you accept, it is not significant. Then uh, when a P value is greater than alpha level, if it is greater than alpha level, if P value is greater than alpha level, then would you say it is p value yeah greater than the alpha level then we say it is we accept then if p value is less than alpha level then we reject so if you are to accept it is significant if you are to reject so if you are to accept it is not if you are to reject it is what significant so that's so it. on that concept again i would like to explain is a uh, what's it called mean difference so we might ask you to calculate the mean difference so if you have to calculate the mean difference what you have to do is n1 minus n2 is equal to the mean the mean difference let me write it a full mean difference so now what's my n1 that's the value of the mean here or s bar 1, I'm going to have a, a 12.50 minus 11.13. So, calculation, the uh, mathematics student give us the answer. We have 12.50, we have uh, 11.13. Here we give us 10, here we give us 7, here is already 4, here we give us 3, here we give us 1. So, that's it. Then, the mean difference we have here, it is 1.37. The other thing again, we have uh, there are some errors you need to take note of. It can be type one, it can be type two. When a non-hypothesis, for example, if the non-hypothesis is true, then you reject a non-hypothesis that is true. You have committed, for example, let's say there is a significant, there is no significant difference between those that are studying biology and those that are studying chemistry. There is no significant difference. So we, if that is true. But you rejected it, then you have committed a type 1 error. But of a truth, you know that there's a significant difference between uh, uh, what's it called? Students studying chemistry and biology. So, for example, I now say there is no significant difference whereby after the experiment we can, uh, or after the research, we realize that there's a significant difference. And you accepted a non hypothesis that is false, you have committed a type 2 error. When you accept the one that is true, sorry, when you reject the one that is a uh, a, a true type one when you accept the one that is false it is what a type two error so that's the that's just all about it, the 313 the calculation aspect of it so there's something i want you to do for me there is i have a youtube channel called Gido academy if you are yet to subscribe and you watch this video please go and subscribe to the youtube channel thank you very much